Over the years, how many different devices have you owned? And over the years, how many have you just tossed out? Not really thinking about what else they could have been useful for, whether they were cell phones, computers, or if you go back far enough, pagers. At the Archimedes channel, they are exploring and looking at how in older devices, specifically older computers, you can find different parts, particularly connections, where the manufacturer has used quite a bit of gold to code those connections used for its conductivity properties. Now, they only exist in trace elements and are usually plating found on these items, such as hard disks, processing chips, and generally connection points. You'd need to open hundreds, if not thousands, to collect enough via gold plating removal to make it worth it for most people. But for some people, that's all the incentive they need. You should always be careful when disassembling these items, especially if using a utility knife. Typically, if you see something of a gold or gold-like color, it's possible that there's gold plating on it. The process by which it's removed and purified gives off toxic gases and requires chemical expertise and access to the right equipment, so not recommended. If you do ever try something like this, safety has to come first. Wear all that personal protective equipment, make sure you have someone qualified on hand, and work in a well-ventilated area. Take a look as it's disassembled, all the different parts that are focused on. Even certain coils and springs could decode it in gold. And to start, especially if there's still plastic attached or lots of other metals, it'll soak in a watered down or diluted nitric acid solution for up to a week. After that, it will be dropped into an aqua regia solution, a combination of nitric and hydrochloric acids. And that definitely a process that will give off toxic gases. Extremely dangerous. From there, it can be filtered and refined, then eventually melted down into a solid gold piece. That is, if you find enough to melt down. 